Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey everybody, it's me Kayla Friday and welcome back to my channel here at Little Cahaba Junkin. Got my Diet Mountain Dew, um, that's my drug of choice. I need some energy because today on our channel, we have another installment of let's get our yard looking better before the city ordinance officer gets called. <laughs> Y'all, it's bad. But I just took my husband's truck, got seven bales of pine straw, some hay straw, and some other fun stuff, some mums. And we're gonna work in this yard today. So um, we're gonna get it looking better, get it ready for fall. I got a hoe, I'm about to get all these weeds up. And I'm just gonna show you what we're working with. And hopefully we'll get it transformed and looking better. But just so y'all know, it's very hard work to be a buzzard. To be a buzzard of this stature, it takes years of preparation and months of neglecting your yard. Oh, honey. I, I, it is all looking so good. Look, the flowers are all dead, but these weeds are just thriving. I mean, this one looks like a full-grown plant. I'm telling you, I don't even know what this is. I mean, it's kind of pretty. Would it be bad if I left the Left the weed here growing up the back of this. <laughs> oh yes, honey. We've got some work ahead of us. My grass is just about dead, but I do not care. Praise the Lord, we ain't gotta cut it much longer. Look at the weeds, y'all. Mm. Let's get started and look. I'm here to tell you, I don't look pretty doing yard work. I look terrible. I see lots of influencers who are out working in their yard with their beautiful clothes and sun hats and scarves. Well, I'm out here trying to enjoy this beautiful fall weather. However, it's still 90 degrees in Alabama. Still feels like summer. There is a gentle breeze, thank God for that. But it's about to get ugly around here. So if you don't like seeing folks look ugly and nasty, this may not be the video for you, but let's get this yard transformed and get it looking better. Without further ado, let me get my gardening gloves and let's get started. Y'all can see how red my face already is. So I went and got my Kavu little hat. It's like an umbrella and a shade tree. So um, I've got one part of the flower bed hoed and I'm gonna be laying down some straw, but while I'm laying down straw, I am going to try the Carly Gale Bowman um, trick for my mums. I'm gonna give them a good soak in water before I put them in the planter to see if we can get them to last longer. So I've just filled up this tote, which obviously had some garbage in there, cause look at the garbage floating. Look, I just keep it real, y'all. So I've got my wood, or my uh, yard work table here, as you can see from the beautiful stains. So I'm just gonna take these moms. And just sit them down in the water for a soak before I plant them over here in this area. So I'm gonna put a few out here with some pumpkins and such, and we're gonna see if we can just make them last longer by soaking them. She swears by this trick. So we're about to give it a shot. So while our flower babies are soaking, I am going to, I got seven rolls of straw to do the front and backyard. That should be more than enough because I am recycling the straw that's already in the flower beds. It just breaks down. Um, a lot of people ask why I don't use mulch. Well, I have flower beds all around my house and it would cost me a fortune to use mulch. And I grew up with straw in the flower bed. So um, that's just kind of what I know and that's what I like. But um, straw is easy. You just kind of fluff it up, make it look nice. Um, it does get a little discolored after a while and loses its vibrancy. It's a really pretty dark brown orange when you first get it. But it does break down and create a really nice mulch. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking so, about. So as you can see, I hoed all this. And this is the straw that, this was probably once an entire bale just right here because it was all this. But I just rake a section back, hoe it down, and then I'm just pushing the straw and making it full. 
So this is my leftover straw, and then I'm just gonna come in and add new straw all through here. And what I do is I just take the straw, undo it, grab it with my hands, and just shake it into the flower bed. And I'll just show y'all how I do it. And I love the look of straw. Like I said, it's super easy. It makes a great um, mulch as it breaks down. And um, all of this was bright red clay. So you can see it's already starting to make a really pretty um, nice layer of topsoil here. So it's looking better. Um, like I said, it was just hard clay. We had to get a pickaxe out here to plant our original flowers. So it's already looking a lot better out here. So the pine straw comes in bales like this. And I'm just gonna cut it. Cut the plastic. Throw the plastic away. And you always want to wear gloves when you're working with straw, pine straw, because the pine needles are very sharp. If you're from the south, I know you've seen Mickey Ferguson or um, James Spann, our local weatherman, our local heroes. Y'all seen them talk about during hurricane and tornado season, how a needle, a pine needle, pine straw needle can go straight through a tree so they're very sharp some of them when the winds are blowing but what I do is I just get a big handful like this and I shake it out to fill up the space you start shaking it out like this to create a big fluffy layer and you can see it's really fluffy right now but when it rains the rain will pack it down and make it look really nice it's not supposed to rain this week i think until friday but i'm gonna get it all laid out i'm gonna put a little bit of this pretty color on top of the old um, straw over there just to blend it a little bit better but you just shake it all throughout your flower bed to create an even layer um, if you just roll it out you're gonna waste a ton you don't a, a one roll will go a pretty long way. Usually it takes about two rolls to do this entire side of the house over here. But I'm going to shake it out really well, put it in the bed, and then when it rains, it'll pack it down and make it look really nice. So as you can see, got the straw all laid out. I know it looks a mess right now. But at the very end, after I've laid it all down, put everything back in my flower beds, I'll take my rake and drag it all along the side to make a good, clean, even border. And I did get this plastic border here from Walmart last year, and it really helps to keep it from washing away. And then I'll tidy up, get everything all clean. But for now, I'm going to plant some of these mums and put my little things back out in my flower bed. And when I am planting, I use something called brown cow, which is essentially cow manure, or black cow, excuse me. So all this is black cow manure. Yes, I'm digging in it with my hands. Look, if you're a mother, you've wiped your baby's butt, right? If you're a nurse, you wipe grown people's honeys, which I do, and I will happily wipe people's honeys because they can't wipe it for themselves. And yes, I wear gloves, but this is cow manure. And yes, I dig in it with my hands, but you know what? I wash my hands before I eat. So, nobody come for me about planting cow manure, okay? I grew up in the country. I'm just an old country bumpkin. And a little cow manure ain't gonna hurt nobody. Probably good for you. Get rid of all this crap that we're pumping into our bodies. 
get some of nature. So, got my soap. Really pretty soaked moms. I'm gonna break up the root ball. Just put them down in here. Hopefully this works well. They're super hydrated. So hopefully they'll last a really long time and be really pretty. But I do gotta go get my unopened bag of cow manure, put it in here. Cause I need a little bit more soil to go in. Okay guys, I look like a flying nun. Sally Field, because I got my hat bent funny. I'm finally done with the first side. Like I said, it still has to settle with the rain, and um, Corey will have to cut grass, but once that's done, it looks so much better. Just got rid of all, fluffed up my, put me some new wheat straw out, and all my little stuff. Fluffed up the straw, added straw, cleaned off the siding, and then over here, I added a thing of dried corn and a couple of pumpkins and another mum. So, it's looking a lot better. It's looking much, much better. Much, much better. Like I said, once everything settles, it'll look even better. But there are no huge weeds out there anymore. So, now for the next side. Y'all just thought that other side was bad. Wait till you see this one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There's more weeds than there are plants. Let's get cracking. Got the weeds pulled. And it looks so much better now it's time to lay this straw so yesterday um i finished laying the straw on this side and i got hot and i got tired so i went on inside and today's the next day so i'm gonna try to work on the porch i'm on call for the hospital till in the morning so i have to be ready to go at any point so i don't need to get too hot and sweaty and covered in ticks and um, all kind of fun bugs <laughs> So I'm gonna show y'all this side of the house and then we're gonna try to do the front porch and hopefully I can do that without getting too nasty. So this is this side of the house. Looks a lot better. Y'all can't judge my porch cause it looks really, really bad. There is a tissue and a bag of garbage. All my summer stuff. It looks fabulous. So I'm about to start by cleaning everything off and moving everything off. And we're gonna decorate this side first. Let's, let's see what we can do. See if we can make a miracle happen. So now I've got all the summer stuff off of here and I just got it broke down to whoop, just like basic decor. So now I'm going to start going shelf by shelf and getting it ready for fall. Don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but we'll figure something out. We always do. Well, the time-lapse video stopped and it was getting dark. So I just went ahead and finished everything. And um, so I've got the front yard done and I still have to do the entire backyard and finish the inside, but at least the front yard is done and it looks better. It's nothing special, but it looks leaps and bounds better than it did when we started. So I will show y'all the finished product of the front yard. And then the next time we'll work on doing the backyard. So this is over here on the side of our house. 
This is the side of our house and our fence. And I've got this just little area over here where it don't look so empty. And I ended up bringing this terracotta pumpkin out here. And then the flower beds are nothing special. I just added some mums and then fluffed up all the flower beds, added the straw, but it's looking better. You've also got to cut grass and that'll cut up all this dry stuff. But it looks better. And then over here, I didn't really do anything, but I had this sweet little scarecrow. I thought he was cute. I got him for like $5 last year. And just redid all my pine straw. Like I said, it'll be packed down when it rains. And then up here on the porch, I added this little guy. It says, have a beautiful day. And then I added this little scarecrow. And I added my metal pumpkins. I try not to put a lot of real pumpkins in the direct sunlight so they wouldn't rot because it's still 100 degrees. And then over here, I really didn't do a whole lot, but it looks better. Anything is better than what it was, which was a big old mess. Pumpkins and mums. Just a few things here and there. And then my hocus pocus. But that's it. Like I said, nothing spectacular, but it does look better than it did. Well, friends, thank you for following along on our little vlog. Like I said, it's nothing crazy, nothing special, but it does look better than it did. Um, it was a hot mess. I had let it go for way too long and the backyard is even crazier so at least it looks good or better we're not gonna have to have the law caught on us for our flower beds and our shrubs being as tall as our house <laughs> so hopefully um it'll stay pretty for a little while hopefully it'll cool off and my mom's won't die but I love you guys so much. Thank you for being a part of the Little Cahaba Junkin family. Most importantly, remember Jesus loves you. And this is the season of thankfulness. And I'm just so thankful for all of his many blessings. So until next time, happy junkin'. Be blessed.